What up? What up, what up, what up, peeps? What's goody? It's your boy, Plastic Addict, back at it again. Back at it again. Back at it again. Yeah, man. Three months. Well needed. That's all I can say. Three months. Well needed. Nice little break. Nice little break. Uh, how you been doing? How your mom in now? Hope everybody's good. Hope everybody's good. Hope everybody's doing well. A lot of things going on in social media and the news and everything, but we ain't here to talk about that. We here to talk about the fix. Uh, buckle your seatbelt. This might be a long one. I ain't seen y'all in three months. Uh, I got like three months of stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> nah, but you know what? I've been chilling. I've been chilling, to be honest. I've been chilling. Um, you probably know, like, that's the daggone lie. All these figs, you ain't even chilling. But to be honest, it is, it's not a lot for three months. Go to a, a, a Nathan Simmons video. I think he changed his channel to uh, Nathan, Nathan's Toys and Collectibles change the channel name. Go to one of his videos. Now that's a lot of stuff. Me, I ain't gonna keep y'all but about 40 minutes. We'll see how it go if I can stop running my mouth. All right, here we go. Everything's been good though. So first I will show you guys what I packed, what I picked up in like December. This is my pickups from December. Then we'll go to January. We're in February now, so we'll, we're, we're trying to perpetuate to what's going on right now and what you, what you, with the pickups that I got while I was off of the YouTube. All right, so, uh, yeah, picked up smoke screen. Now, by, if any of the box collectors out there, you know this is an old fix. You're like, dang, you just now picked that up? Yeah, like in, uh, in December, man, picked up smoke screen. Uh, these were raw specials. I think this was in November, to be honest. I just forgot to show y'all last video I made. The Astro Train. Yeah, pick up that Astro Train. That Astro Train is dope. See, you got the raw special right there. Can you see the see the price? It's probably flipped in the camera, but uh, yeah, seventeen dollars original price. I think it was $40, $45, something like $50, something like that. Same thing, this is, a, this is a $50 action figure if you go try to pick it up in Target. But the Raw Special gave me that, that $17.99, you feel me? That $17.99. Now, 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 wait a minute. Don't be running out the Raws right now. Stay right there. You ain't gonna find that at Ross right now. That, that, that's long gone, long gone. This was November time frame to get those $17.99 Ross specials, you feel me? They gone, they gone. Don't, don't even worry about it, don't even worry. Nah, you won't find it. Uh, but I hope you did get them. I'm quite, I'm quite sure some people out there did get those Ross specials. All right, now this one, uh, I picked up for my man, my man Grant. But he didn't want it. And something happened to the receipt. I don't know what I did with the receipt, but uh, this Master Chief, I'm gonna find some, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find him a good home. Cause I'm, I'm not in the Halo. I'm not a Halo guy, you know? I'm not an Xbox guy, I'm a PlayStation guy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's Master Chief. I heard he was a great figure. I've seen a couple of reviews on him. Uh, Mythic Legion, my, my friend out here, Eric, he got this for me. This is my first ever Mythic Legion figure. Dope fig. I did take her out the box when I was over at his crib. And this is a, this is a dope fig. Is this going to get me to fall in the line? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Eric, I appreciate you, boss. I appreciate you. But, uh, nah. This is, this is not going to get me into this line. I already collect too much stuff as it is, man. I'm, I'm pretty much done with trying to start a new line and whatnot like that. Um, now, this right here got off of Amazon. Got this off of Amazon. This was in December. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So got 
We got the, uh, the speeder bike with the scout trooper and child. And also got another one unopened, you feel me? Because you need two of these. Because you remember in Mando, I already opened it by the way. In Mando, it was two troopers. It was two scout troopers in that, in that episode. So uh, you ain't busting the grape if you got one. If you got the old one, you can probably pass that off, but it don't come with the child. You see what I'm saying? Hold up, I got one open that I can show y'all real quick. I got one open that I can show y'all. Real quick. Okay? So, boom. This resembles the old speeder bike that came out years ago, right? But the only difference with this one is, is uh, the, the paint. The paint is, is different, or it's not really paint, it's the plastic is different, to be honest with you. And this one comes with the child attached to the, uh, uh, with, with the figure. And then I believe also the, the, the color, the color of the, the, storm, the stormtrooper is, uh, or the rider is different. Got a satchel here in the back. It's basically, it's, it's definitely going off of the show, man. So when I get things set up and uh, all situated, I'll show y'all what the deal is with that. It's gonna look nice. All right, these, these, if you're in the fifth community heavy, you remember these came out in Target, yeah. That's how long ago these have been right here. It's been that long. Cyborg Spider-Man, right? Negative, negative zone Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Got them on deck. That was pretty dope. More Star Wars here, Cad Bane. Man, now, I was over my friend, uh, Rob's house, and his son actually had this fig. Adrian, Adrian is, is his son's name. He had this fig. I, I still haven't cracked mine, but my man's son cracked his, and I was posing it. Man, that thing is sweet. Cat Bane is a sweet fig. I hope you guys were able to pick up Cat Bane. That's all I'm gonna say. Cat Bane is one of those must-have type of figs, man. If you if you into Star Wars, that is, it's it's, it's a must-have. Um, I picked this up at GameStop. Just seen them. The only thing on pegs in that section was Cad Bane. And you know when you look at something, like it's almost like in slow motion because you've been looking for something that you wanted for a while, right? I haven't reached for that mug in slow motion like. That's how I went. That's how I went. It went like that. Yeah, it, it went like that. It went just like that. But a cat bang. <laughs> Woo! Hey, you know I cut up. I'm gonna cut up. You know what I'm saying? It's been three months. I'm going. Oh, I'm going cut up. You fuck. You heard me? All right. Let me see. Let's keep. Let's let's keep with the Star Wars tradition. Let let, let, let me let me show y'all the Star Wars I got going on. Cause I know I got some Star Wars fans out there. All right. So. Uh, da, 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 da. My man Nate, yeah, Nate Simmons. Remember, I was telling y'all before, Nate Toys and Collectibles. I ordered this from him like last year in June, and it finally came. Um, like I think I want to say January, man. So this is from also from the Mandalorian series, right? And uh, this is him in his uh in his in his Berserker armor. So that's dope. That's dope right there. The Remnant Stormtrooper. Now, it would be nice to army build these things, but every time I go to Target, I only, I only, I only seen this one. This one, that's it. It'd be nice to get four more of these guys, but you know what, I ain't gonna worry about it, man. I'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna stress. Uh, these things are highly sought after. If you got more than one of these things, or if you even was able to get one, Use one lucky mofo, that's all I'm saying. Ask the people that don't got one, and they'll tell you how lucky you are. 
I'm just saying. Uh, but uh, my man Brian, better known as MCU Collector 24. Now I know, I know, I know. This was a, like this is like a this was like a corny gag gift to some Star Wars fans. They're like, man, I ain't buying no Christmas Star Wars, man. That's whack, bro. Hey, hey, relax, relax. I'll get them. <laughs> I'll get them. And how I'm on the Facebook groups and seeing how people saying how corny this is, I sure enough couldn't find them in stores, bro. What's up? Somebody buying them other than me? I'm just saying. These jokers, it's dope. Look, let me tell you. My wife don't like a whole bunch of figs around the house, right? I understand that. You know, yo, keep your collection in your collection area. That's that's what you do. You know, keep it over there. You know, that's that's how she is. But when Christmas time rolls around, oh, these bad boys come out and she ain't got no problem with them being displayed, baby. Any fig is better than no figs displayed. I'm just saying. In the living room. Now I'm talking about in the living room. Amongst the other Christmas ornaments, the tree and the decorations. Yeah. I got all, all five of them too, by the way. Brian, MCU Collector, helped me get my last one. This was my last one that I needed. So big shout out to MCU Collector 24. He got some other stuff that he helped me out with. He's a big help, but I will get to that later. Got that on deck. All right, I think that's it for the Star Wars. Now, we moving on. Turtles! Yes, sir. The cartoon style Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crank, baby. Woo, yes, sir. Hey, if you was born in the 80s, Watching a lot of 80s cartoons, 90s cartoons, you would know how dope this is by NECA. This was a dope, dope make right here. Seriously, needed this. And what I'm about to show y'all next, this is what I ended my TNT cartoon NECA section off with. I'm no longer in the cartoon NECA game. Done. Like, that, uh, that Rat King, I want the Rat King, but I don't want um, the, the news reporter. Uh, I, I forgot his name right now. Man. And Vern, Vern. Oh, 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 Wolf, Wolfman Vern. I don't want Vern. The hell with Vern. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna pay $50 for one fig. Nah, I'm not, I'm, I'm just not gonna do it. I, I just, I just refuse. Now, this is what I ended my line with right here. And my boy Brian, he found this, revoked, reviewed it on his channel, MCU Collector 24. And uh, this is this is also a very dope set. I, it's, 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 it's rare that you want both figs in a, in a, in a two-pack. Sometimes they'll give you a fig that you really, really want, and then they'll, then they'll put something else that you really don't want so much. But these, I, I needed both of these. So I'm done with the TM, TNMT line cartoons. I'm done. Splinter and Baxter right here. Uh, let me see. Like I said, he opened it up and reviewed it. Some of the pieces are loose, but to give y'all a look at the, uh, at the figs, that's where we at. That's what that's where we at with it. Yeah. Dope set. And they come with the little mat. A little training mat right here, so you know you set your figs up. You can put splint on there with the turtles or whatever like that. Yeah, this is a dope set. This is a dope set. Dope accessories too. Uh, well, let me put this back in here. Yeah. Put this back in here. Yeah. All right, so now we're about to get to a mess coat that I was looking forward to. Because I actually have, oh, here we go, a little sticker at the bottom. MCU Collector sticker right there, baby. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's, that's just like his signature sticker right there. Shout out to MCU Collector 24. This is dope now. This is PX exclusive. 
Harley Quinn. Seriously dope figure. Now this is like a mashup, right? This is like, let me take it out of the box so it's so clear. This is like Harley Quinn mashed up with Tank Girl. You know what I'm saying? And I have the Joker to match with this Harley Quinn. So that's why I needed this Harley Quinn. So daggone bad. So, like NECA do, they come with the stand and the inside and the bags for your uh, accessories if you want to use that. But this, whoo, she's dope. She is dope. Check this out. Let me show you guys this right here. Look at this. What you'd like to partner with? Look sure. at this. Hold up. It's like having an arsenal. Let me get this out of here. Get the paper out. All right, Tim. I'm going to switch heads because, hold up. I'll, I'll show you this head. I'll show you this head first. There we go. Check this out. It's not your traditional Harley Quinn, but of course she got her traditional colors, right? She got her traditional colors. Suit is clean. Look at that. Dang, the boots is clean. Yeah. Feeling like the jacket. Look at the jacket. Sick. It says, uh, therapist at work. And how she got her hair, her, basically her head shaved. And just that little piece off that, off her uh, left hand side. But this is the helmet that I'm going to display her with. This Tank Girl helmet goes hard right here. I mean, it's Tank, tank Girl head. Yeah. Gotta give her a little pose, you know what I'm saying? Gotta give her a little pose. It's Harley, baby. This is Harley, baby. Harley Quinn, baby. Hold on. That gonna fist fell off real quick. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Harley. Oh, crazy ass. Yeah. <laughs> That's clean, boy. Look at that helmet. That's a clean helmet right there. That's sick. I'm telling you, in hand, this is a sick fig. Matter of fact, she gonna hang out with me. She gonna hang out with me. Bet that. Hang out right there, Harley. Hang out. Huh? Yes, sir. All right. Here we go. We finally about to open some boxes now. We about to get to it. Is y'all ready? I'm gonna save my friends that actually made stuff. This was made by one of my friends right here. He probably knows this box. Let me say that for last. Or almost last. I kind of know what a lot of this stuff is. Uh yeah. Okay. Let's just let's just do it. Let's just do it. Amazon. Let's just do it. Uh. Uh. Uh, oh, we back, we back to Star Wars right now. We back to Star Wars right now. From the Mando show, baby. Quill! Now, if anybody watches The Mandalorian, you know that this was the guy I have spoken. He was serious about his. He said what he meant and he meant what he said. You know, when he said, I have spoken, it, it wasn't no more conversation after that. It's done. <laughs> uh, that's it. You still here? You still talking? I said what I said, but what he says is, uh, I have spoken. So, voiced by, uh, what is it? Not, not, not Nick Nolte, what's his name? Drop down in the comments. It's the guy that looks like Nick Nolte, but it's not Nick Nolte because I think Nick Nolte passed away, right? I forgot who voiced this guy, but I, you, could, you could almost like see him when he was, you know, talking. Anyway, dope, dope fig from the Mando series. Uh, 
I'll tell y'all something after I, I open everything. But uh, let's see. This one, let's go with Amazon. Let's go with Amazon. I'm going to go with my Amazon stuff, and then I'm going to get to the stuff from friends. All right. This is another Amazon. Another Amazon situation. Also, Star Wars. It's a heavy Star Wars day right here, boy. It's a heavy Star Wars day. So this was, uh, I believe this was, uh, I think this was this month, man. The beginning of this month, beginning of February. Yeah. So this is from the prequels, Jar Jar Binks. Misa! Misa! <laughs> yeah. Misa like the Phantom Menace, Misa. Yeah, yeah. This was, hey, Jar Jar got a lot of flack. From being in that movie, man. But undercover, yo, people really like Jar Jar. I, I, I'm around in the groups. I hear, I hear y'all talking trash about Jar Jar, but a lot of y'all picked him up. I be seeing the posts. I, I know what's going on. Jar Jar, he was he was like the comic relief in the movie when the movie came out. The the Phantom the Phantom Menace. I mean, people didn't like him. People didn't like him because he was corny, you know what I mean? And it, it, it felt like, I don't know. But I had to get him, man. I had to get him. It's Jar Jar, you know what I'm saying? You're going to make a Jar Jar fig, I'm going to get it. That's how I see it. Uh, uh, hey, it is what it is. Jar Jar, shout out to you, Jar Jar. <laughs> like he a real person, right? Shout out to you, Jar Jar. Hold it down, baby. P.O.P., hold it down, baby. <laughs> All right, here we go. Also, coming from Amazon. Oh, another Star Wars. We hitting, baby. We hitting. We hitting. We cracking, baby. Come on, boy. Creep. Creep, baby. Got to get that creep, baby. A.K.A. Apollo Creed in the building. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his face sculpt sucks. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hype this figure up like it's dope. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I tell the truth on my channel. If I, if I think something's dope, I'm gonna tell you it's dope. If I don't think something is dope, I'm gonna tell you this ain't dope, man. But I still needed him for my collection. Look at that face. That's not the best face of Carl Withers right there. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Out of the package, maybe from that angle that I showed you. But look, this is the box art right there. But for twenty, look. For twenty dollars. Now I'm not making no excuses for you, Hasbro Star Wars Division. For twenty dollars, you could have done better because we got a lot, lot better face sculpts uh, with that new print tech they got. This, 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 nah, man, nah, we not gonna let this ride. Nah, y'all not gonna get away easy with this, man. This is a horrible face sculpt. We are in 2021 and we still getting face sculpts like this. You should be damn ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Don't ever put out no garbage like this again. All right, that's it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> also, Amazon. What we got here? What we got here, baby? What we got here, baby? What we got here, baby? <laughs> you feel me? Oh, we moving on to Marvel now, baby. We on to that Marvel. Frogman. Frogman? Who the hell is Frogman? <laughs> That's what a lot of collectors were saying when Hasbro showed this, like uh, when they were showing their new figures for, for, for this wave. Now, I know there's a lot of hardcore Marvel guys out there. They're like, I know exactly who Frogman went, man. I know exactly. And Frogman goes back to, like, I believe 1980s or something like that, maybe. I didn't know who he was. I had to Google the brother. But all I know was, I like the way he looked. I, th I thought he looked cool. You know what I'm saying? I thought he looked cool. And to be honest, it was two. It was two. It's actually a man in the suit, of course. But... Uh, I mean, sometimes, you know, cats get mutated and, you know, they look the way they look. But no, this is actually a man in a suit and it was actually two of them. So if you actually bought two of Frogmen, you are correct to display two Frogmen on your shelf. I'm just saying. I didn't get two. I don't care that much to get two of these guys. But having one was just enough for me for my uh, Spideyverse. Uh, so uh, shout out to Frogman. <laughs> like he's a real character, right? Shout out to Frogman. 
Shout out to the people that got frog man. How about that? Let's keep it one. Shout out to the people that got frog man. All right, here we go. We going with now. Let's open this prime box up. Let's open this prime box up. Y'all ready for this prime box? Is you ready? Cause I forgot what it was. <laughs> you mind if I take a sip? Don't mind if I do. Ah, yeah, that was good. Good old coffee right there, boy. Good old coffee. Here we go. Big box from Amazon. Big body. Big body, baby. Big body. My address ain't gonna be. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Bam! There we go, baby. Yes, sir. Now, this came in January. We are in February right now. This Amazon sent this to me in January. Don't fig. If you read, oh man. if you read this comic right here, it's almost impossible not to get this. I'm just saying. I, I, I even go a step further. If you even seen the movie, if you're not a real comic book head and you seen the movie, you probably would want to get the comic book version too. But there's some die hard. Die hard MCU collector only, not comic book fans out there. That's cool. But this right here, this is my guy right here. This is my guy. He even comes with the with the with the old man Thanos head right there. Yes. Old man King Thanos. This is this is important. Important fig to have if you got you uh, a Marvel Legends uh, galactic setup. Gotta get this guy. Got to get this guy right here. Dope fig. Articulation is suspect on it. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I seen a couple of reviews. I seen the way it was moving. It's suspect, but just have, just to have him on your shelf, it feels complete to have a, a galactic shelf with this Thanos. I'm just saying. Pick this guy up. And five of the same figure in one box. Yes, I got five of the same figure because he's an army builder, folks. He's an army builder. Right? Here we go. Yep. Yep. You know what it is. It's hand ninja time, baby. All I wanted was five. I can stop now. I'm good. Just five. You know, some people went 10, 12. I just wanted five. Just give me five. All right. Now, the legs that come in here, don't ask me for the legs. The legs has already been allocated. Already got the folks that I'm, that I'm going to be sending them to. You feel me? Hand Ninja. And I'm going to be honest with you. You know I, you know I, you know I keep it real with y'all, right? You know I keep it real. Hand Ninja, as a, as a fit, he ain't all that. He ain't. Oh, snap. I can bump the dag on tape. The hand ninja ain't all that, y'all. One, I don't like the hood. The way Hasbro designed that hood right there, it's too much like air that comes up in a, I'm tilting it so you can't see what I'm talking about, but the design, like I wish they would have designed this head where the hood pops off, then this fig would have been salvageable to me. That would just have his, his mask, his, his Bolivia or whatever like that, that covered his, covered his face. That would have been dope, and I would have been fine with that, but uh, what can you do? That's how Hasbro did us. That's how they did us. But I still need a five. It's gonna be a nice little display of that uh, when, when I get it all situated. Uh, but uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, and you know what? You know the funny thing about that hand ninja? I heard it's going up in price, like that. Like, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. 100. It's not a great fig. Did I say that before? It's not, I don't, the only reason that it's probably going up is because people wanted to army build. Because I'm definitely going to use mine. I'm going to have, um, <clears throat> set it with my, my street, street level villains. You know, street level villain display. Set that up, set the hand ninja up. 
have a oh man forgot old girl name is uh, uh it's a daredevil villain it's it's a, it's a lady she got fishnets ah uh, i'm having a brain fart drop down in the comments if you can help me out uh, maybe i'll think of it as 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 the video goes on but basically i'm gonna have the hand ninjas behind her you know what I'm saying? And then she gonna be in a, in it. Well, she got double, she got single jointed elbows, so she, she really can't do this. But I'm gonna come up with a pose that look cool with the hand ninjas, you know what I'm saying? And back of her, she looking intimidating, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, got my squad, you feel me? So, that's where we going with that. All right, so, this is coming from my good friends. Now, these are coming from friends now. Okay, let, 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 let's go with my man. Tech Chucker. Tech Chucker is a builder extraordinaire. He builds dials. He has a YouTube channel. You will see the link. Drop down. Drop down arrow. Hit that drop down arrow right there. He has a, um, what do you call it? A, a, a printer a printer machine? What do you call those things? Man, my brain just ain't working right now. I'm just telling you, it just ain't. My brain is, 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 is messed up, man. I can't think. A 3D printer, that's what he has. He has a 3D printer. How the hell? Okay, this is how the box opens. And Tech Chucker printed this, and I have the Mapex Michael Jordan fig. I, I showed y'all that in the last video. If you haven't seen the Mapex Michael Jordan fig, it's a dope fig. I even put a picture up on my Instagram with him, him crossing up Batman. It's, it's a dope fig. Drop down link will take you uh, to that picture, matter of fact. Oh, uh, Michael Jordan crossing up Batman. <laughs> but, Tech Chucker put this together right here. And he, he had designed this not even thinking about the Mafex Michael Jordan pig. Because when Tech Chucker is not a Michael Jordan fan. He, this was just in one of his wild, mad wizard things to, to create with his 3D printer. But just so happens that Mafex had a Michael Jordan fig and it came out. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so this was perfect. This was perfect. Like, I was looking all over eBay, the internet, and things like this. And Tech Chugger, he was like, yo, I'm making a um, I'm, I'm actually making a hoop. I was like, what? So he came through with this. I'm putting it together. It's, it's pretty simple to put together too. My boy Tech Chuck is the man. I've been knowing Tech Chucker for about going on almost five years now. Yeah, great dude. Like I said, his link, his link will be down below. And if you want to get you one of these, and you want to have your Marvel Legend guys playing against Jordan, or or your DC guys, or your Star Wars guys, and you want them to, to shoot some hoops, boom. Tech Chucker is the man you need to see. That's all I'm saying. Holler at my man, Tech Chucker. Look at this. Let me take it off so you guys can see. Look at that, look at that hoop. Look at that hoop, baby. Let me see. Tech, we ain't got no net, Tech. Tech! Ah, oh, we ain't got no net, man. Hold it, let me see. Is it in this paper towel? Tech! Oh, Tech, Tech, Tech. Ah, I thought he was gonna make a net, bro. Uh, I guess we playing on the hood basketball court. You know how them hood basketball courts come. They they come with no net. Hell, where I grew up, they took the whole hoop down. <laughs> but y'all know what I'm talking about in the park, man. Ain't got no ain't got no net. So I guess Jordan gonna be playing gonna be playing whoever I, I decide to. Uh, play Jordan on one on one or whatever they they gonna be I'm gonna keep this right here they gonna be playing uh, they gonna be playing hoops with no net thanks to Tech Tech kind of like the the police no net you ain't taking my rim no Tech that's all I'm saying bro you ain't taking my rim bro mm -mm, mm -mm. ain't happening uh, all right. Oh, I forgot to show y'all these pickups. Oh, matter of fact, y'all don't need to go to that video. Check this out. They go to Michael Jordan right here. They go to Michael Jordan right here, cuz. 
Hit it, go right here, guys. Now this is a six inch figure, which means it's, it's around the same height frame as this. Obviously, Jordan's going to be taller than this Harley Quinn. But while, while I got y'all here, I forgot that I actually took this so I can, I can show y'all. I showed y'all this in the last video, but I didn't open it. Look, with the, look at the J's that he come with, though. He come with the 11s. They made the 11s for, for Jordan, for this Jordan fit. Look at the bottom. True to the game, this is how the, the bottom of the 11s look, like for, for, for real, for real. Look how dope that is. Yo, that's clean. Then we got the Jordan 1s. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. Just sick right here. This is sick. Yes, indeed. Even got the even got the uh, the Nike right there YouTube on the tongue. Has ad -free videos. Nike Air on the tongue. And then the last shoe we come with, look at this. Oh, YouTube come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yo. All I'm saying is, if you don't got this Jordan and you're a Michael Jordan fan, no, you thought, you thought you was a Michael Jordan fan. You thought. Go get it. If you are really a Michael Jordan fan, you ain't passing on this. That's all I'm saying. If you don't get this fig, you thought you was. <laughs> you thought. I said what I said. Here we go. But Plastic, I don't collect figs. Get the damn fig, man. I don't want to hear no excuses. Jeez. Do you like Jordan or not? <laughs> Mother. Hold up, man. I need to put the correct hand. Hold on, I'm going to put one of these hands on him. That way he can actually have the ball. He can actually have the ball in his hand. I'm going to put this hand on him. Hold on. This video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm doing all this extra stuff, but it's worth it. It's worth it for MJ. That's all I'm saying. It's worth it for MJ, dog. And putting, look, let me tell you, if you guys got Mafex, Mafex, you guys know that the pegs are super small and you gotta be kind of careful why, how, how you put them on because you don't want that, you don't want that peg to break as you put in the fig on. So he also comes with all these hands, right? I don't know if you guys can see this. He also comes with all these hands, two basketballs, but one, but both of the basketballs, or one of the basketballs have, has a hole has a hole in it so he can actually grip the basketball I'm trying to pick the basketball up with the little peg there you go that's the best way I know how to get it out without spilling all the accessories all over the place but check this out hold up let me let me get his get his hands situated you got the Jordan face right there this is not the actual best face of Jordan that's like his expressive face Jordan actually told Mafex he don't want he don't want them to do it with the uh, you know what I'm saying with the tongue out because he know how perverted folks would get if he had his tongue out you know they be putting Mike Mike face with his tongue out look there, there's a lot of creepy people out here in this world and, and they 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 ain't right in the head let's let's just keep it like that but this here. This here, hold on, oh my God. Michael is going to cross somebody's up. I'm trying to tell you, he's going to cross somebody up. Woo -hoo -hoo. oh my God. Yo, this is perfect. Now, this rim is not actually strong enough for, for Jordan to actually hang off of because of the weight of the fig, vice the weight of the net, but to have him up on your display and Tech Chucker is so precise in the height and scale with the with the hoop with the hoop ratio and the six inch six inch figure ratio. Like he he ain't messing around with it, man. Like he really designed this perfectly. Cause this hoop easily could have been could have been short. Could have been too short for Jordan or too tall. But the his design skills, I'm telling y'all. Y'all need to holler at my man, Tech Chucker. Go to his channel, go to his Instagram, and 
check my man out. It's not a good angle to show y'all this, but bruh, bruh, <laughs> it's MJ, dog. Bruh, it's MJ. Yo, this is, this is MJ, dog. Look, y'all don't understand, man. Mike is, I put him, you know what, I'm gonna stop before I start gushing, yo. I'm just gonna stop. Plastic, stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to get to the rest of the box. We leaving Jordan now, baby. We're going to leave Jordan now. Let, let me get Jordan. Michael Jordan, to me, was an idol, bro. And one of my idols. And I knew I couldn't play like Jordan. But to go on the court and act like you could play like Jordan was the thing to do. He made you, he made me pick up a basketball. I doubt if Jordan played the sport, I would pick up a basketball. I doubt it. I doubt it. If, my, if we never had a Michael Jordan, I doubt I would even care about picking up a basketball. Did I turn into a pro basketball player like some of these guys? No. My skill level wasn't that high. Let's be honest. If you didn't make it to the pros, your skill level ain't that high. So there's no need to lie to you guys, but Michael Jordan changed the game of basketball. Let me tell you guys something. Little well-known fact. Before Michael Jordan came on the scene and did what he did, the highest rating sports to watch on TV was baseball. Not football, not basketball. America's game was baseball. Now the highest viewed sport in America is now football. But when Michael Jordan played, it was basketball. That's, when you hear people say Michael Jordan changed the game, he brought that many fans from all over the world to watch the sport that he did so well. I can't talk enough about Michael Jordan. I can't. I just can't. He is the man. I'm gonna keep him right here too. I'm gonna keep him right here. My man, Mike. My man, Mike. Oh, shoot, I'm dropping accessories. All right. I got this, I got these. From my man, Andrew. All three of these. I believe, yeah, all three of these came from my man, Andrew. His link will also be in the description. This is the end to the Spideyverse. Um, Miles Morales, this is also a dope fig. If you guys got the Marvel Legends version, um, what you did, you got the worst version that you can get of Miles as of now. This is the best version you can get of Miles. <laughs> a lot of cats are like, what? No, no, nothing. No, he's not the worst version. Don't say that. You all sensitive ass. <laughs> to me, all right, it's opinionated. If you're watching a YouTuber, he's giving you opinion. But I'm going to give you opinion and a fact. This is the best version <laughs> of Miles that you can get. Mayfix Miles, guys. Mayfix Miles. Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> Piccolo. <laughs> I'm still laughing at you, sensitive ass folks. <laughs> All right, here we go. Piccolo, SHF version Piccolo. I've been waiting for them to remake Piccolo because I missed on the first time they made um, Piccolo, which was maybe about seven, I don't know, seven, six years ago. I forget the time frame. But this is important. I do um, collect certain Dragon's, Dragon Ball Z characters. So he's gonna look nice on my Dragon Ball Z show. Uh, and then the Dark Knight Returns also by Mayfex. This right here also is the best version of the Dark Knight Returns, um, Mayfex, in my opinion, yes. He could have came with more accessories. No, he didn't come with the rifle or whatever like that, but his movements are way better to me than the, the Mezco version. The Mezco version is okay. If you got that one, I'm glad you're happy with this, but if you ever had this or ever moved this in hand, you would understand what I'm talking about. So if you don't, keep it to yourself. <laughs> the experience is life changing. Oh man, who's calling me, what? man? I gotta pause the video. I gotta pause the video. Alright, where was we? 
man, you get a call and I'm and I'm right in the middle of this and the Mayfex Batman, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's messed up, man. <laughs> but uh Dark Knight Returns Batman by Mayfex, definitely pick it up. Alright, um, we got three more boxes to open, guys. This one is coming from none other than my man Brian. MCU Collector 24. Now, which one is this one? Because I believe I have, yeah, I have two boxes from MCU Collector 24. MCU Collector 24 is a great friend of mine. Um, we are in a chat group together. We, we chat it up, talk it up, have a good time, joke, laugh. But MCU Collector, he is an absolute maniac when it comes to finding hard to find figs. He is what I like to call special forces. If you can't find a fig, he can find it. Now, he ain't gonna find it for you, <laughs> but he'll find it for the people he, he'll, he, he holds near and dear to his heart. Now, come on, MC Collector has 30,000 subscribers. He can't help all of you. So don't try to ask him. I'm just saying don't. Because he, he's not. <laughs> but I've been knowing him for years. So he helps me and the other, other folks that, uh, that we call friends in the, in the chat room um, to find a lot of stuff. I didn't knock my dad on Jordan down. This is none other than the hard to find Firefly. Cobra Island Firefly. People still searching for him. I'm just glad I got it. I'm just glad I have it. I have never seen a G.I. Joe on the shelf. Period. I never seen them. It's a myth. They don't exist. Never. I, 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 I literally have never seen a G.I. Joe on the shelf. I got all the G.I. Joe because I even ordered them through Amazon. I ordered them through Nate, Simmons, uh, Nate Toys and Collectibles. Or oh, my man Brian, he, 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 he hooks it up, but, and yes, I pay the money. <laughs> it's not for free, uh, but definitely needed Firefly. I think this is a great rendition of Firefly right here. Let's see, the, the, the shine is just too much and the box won't set up, I'll set it down. This is also coming from my man, MCU Collector 24. And this one here, is none other than, yes sir, Cobra Viper baby. The hard, the even harder to find Cobra Viper. 21 and 22. Man, let me tell you. I am so damn tired of Target exclusives. It, I understand why some Joe collectors just stop collecting. They just stop collecting these Six Sense Joes because it's such a pain in the ass to find them. It is. Hasbro sent only one case to one Target in America. One case for every Target. There's six figures that come in the case. We have over a million, two million, Three million collectors. Come closer. Hasbro, Hasbro Joe line, come closer. You think that's enough? Do you seriously think that's enough Joes to go around this whole toy community? You stuck on stupid. That's stupid. Send four cases to each target in America. Send five, send as many as you can. They're going to get bought up. And what's going to happen is, you're going to make more money. Target, do I need to talk to you? Come here, Target. Target VP, order more Joes. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Hold up. I already know I'm missing a box. I'm going to pause this. All right, all right. I already knew I was missing a box. This, was, this is a well-anticipated box. 
My man Omar was selling this. Omar Hernandez, my man, stays in Georgia. He had a deep DC collection. He was selling some things, and he know me and him were huge DC fans. But he's just over his uh, DC classics, so he sold me these things. I'll show you guys the accessories first. I'll show you guys the accessories first. I've been wanting these figs for years. Years. All my real DC fans know what that's about. Ah. Oh. I gotta pause it again. Ah, yeah, let's get it. Like I said, how about this one? You recognize this one? DCU. Old DC classics. I'm hype already. Woo! How about this? How about this, DC fans? You recognize this? Huh? Woo! This is about to be hype. Oh man, I'm getting hype. That's why. That's why. Y'all not getting hype, but I am. I'm getting hype. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get him. Let's get him. Yo! Been watching these guys for years, years. These these are official grails with an S grails. <laughs> Too cold, baby. Too cold, baby. Let's go, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. Boy, let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me get to the next one. Let me get to the next one. Man, his arm, his arm come out easy. Omar, what's up with that, bro? Arm come out super easy. He must. That's, that's how I must. I know Omar take good care of his fish. His arm must have all, always been coming out easy. All right, here we go. Here we go. No, 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 no. He's last. <laughs> He's last. <laughs> Already see what that is. He's last. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let me bring out his minions first. How about that? Let me bring out his minions. Yeah, boy. Ooh, his parademons, baby. Come and look, these guys jump straight out of the comic book. I'm gonna take both of them out before I take, take both of them out. Oh. Oh. Two vicious. Two vicious. Look at these parademons, baby. Man, it'd be nice to get about 10 of these. But these, man, these are dope. If y'all know whose parademons this is, then use a real DC dude. I mean, I said parademons, didn't I? I said parademons. But here we go. If you guys seen the DC version of, De of Justice League before, the Justice League m movie, Justice League movie, y'all probably used to that version of Steppenwolf, right? Well, I'm here to tell you that this is what Steppenwolf actually looks like in the comic. This is actually Steppenwolf. This is what Steppenwolf actually looks like. His comic book. Yeah, that's the real Steppenwolf. Not the monster that you see on the DC movie. He looks like this. Why did they make him different? Because look at this dude, man. He just really doesn't look intimidating. Like, let's be honest. This dude coming at you, 
you're going to want to slap the hat, slap slap his hat, hat off his head, like wouldn't you? Like he don't look intimidating at all. So I, they had to build the aura around Stephen Wolf to look more intimidating. That's why his movie version looks the way it looks. But he is he is like the captain of the Parademon army. But this guy here, this next guy I'm pulling out, is the commander in chief of the Parademons. All hail. Lord Dark Side. Yes. Yes. All hell. Lord Dark Side. Baby. This guy is going for a pretty penny. That's all I'm going to say. But my man Omar hooked it up for the homie discount for the homie discount let me just say that most collagen supplements have this mm -hmm. all right so i got one more fig in here that i'm going to show you guys that omar sent this video is probably over an hour but you guys ain't seen me in uh in three months come on man everybody asked me where the video is at well, here it is. Don't be complaining to me, bro. After the, after the video long, you asked for it. She got it. Well, that's all I'm saying. So, this is the last one that he sold me. That bang, baby. That bang, baby. Ooh, that's that classic bang right there. DC Classics, man. Now everybody knows I'm an articulation junkie. You understand that, you know that. But, when it comes to these, I'm cool with what I get because these literally jump straight out the comic book. Like straight out of the comic book. So these right here are always gonna have a special place in my heart. Love these figs, man. Love these DC classics. I love them. Because it, it, when I look at them, I feel like I'm reading the comic book. Like they literally, they look just like how they were supposed to. How, to, how they was drawn, I should say. So, definitely, I thank Omar for these. He's definitely found a good home over here. It took me forever to open up the box. He's like, man, when you gonna open up the box, man? When you gonna open up the we we gonna open up the box? I finally got to it, Omar. I finally got to it. Alright. So last, last but certainly not least, we got the big box. Coming from my man, none other than Nate Toys and Collectible. And uh I'm gonna, I'm gonna just tell you. I saved the best for last. If you want something and you can't find anything, you may want to go to Nate Toys and Collectibles. It's on Facebook. He has a Facebook page. I'm just saying. Order from Nate. Things take a while because shipping in this coronavirus takes a while now. You gotta be patient. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. You gotta be patient. But it will get to you. Eventually. <laughs> First thing we pull out the box. Come on, Jordan. Come on. Stay with me, Mike. We almost done, baby. We almost done. MJ. Hush, Hush Superman. As of right now, this is the best six inch scale Superman that's on the market today. Straight out of the Hush comic book with the Poison Ivy vines wrapped around him. Poison Ivy put Superman in her 
poison trance and he was attacking Batman. And like Batman, he handled soups. Yeah. Today, media channel Kryptonite ring to the face. <laughs> to the dome, baby. For advertisers. To the dome. New so, yes. Now we get into the main event right here. This is the last fig of the morning, the evening. Is you ready? Is you ready? Is you ready? Yeah. Ooh, here we go. I asked if you was ready. I asked. Let's give him one. Let's give him one. Let's give him one. <laughs> you ain't got this. <laughs> Nate's toys and collectibles, baby. <laughs> Ooh, you ain't got this. <laughs> this is none other than the Transformers. DLX collectible figure known as 3A Soundwave that also comes with Ravage. <laughs> yes, sir. Yo, I'm bugging right now. I'm bugging. Should I take them out and show you guys? I need to hear it. Okay, okay, okay. You made it this far. If you made it this far, I need to reward you with this. I need to reward you with this. You need to see this guy out of the box. I understand, I understand. I will show you guys. So this is coming from, this is based off of the, the Bubble Bee movie that came out, I believe, I believe it was two or three years ago now. Might have been two, yeah, two or three years ago. But this is super clean. I'm not gonna take all the parts off. He come with two, four, six, seven, eight, nine hands. He comes with Ravage. He comes with his space gun right here, space rifle. Woo! Shoulder cannon right here. Shoulder, this goes on his shoulder. Woo! Woo! Chief! They don't get no dope in this. Oh, something dropped off. Oh. Uh, I gotta get that later. I think it came off his back. Oh yeah, it came off his butt flat. I'll get that later. Woo! This thing is hefty too, y'all. I mean, hefty. Woo! Good God almighty. Oh my God, I gotta, I gotta read the instructions to figure out how to get, oh my God. But I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll take some pictures and put it on my Instagram, how about that? This guy is too clean. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at this guy, look at this. Oh, there's a, oh, yes, the waist swivel's nice. He got so many freaking pieces, bro. You gotta be careful the way you articulate this guy. I already got this piece pump coming off right now. Oh, right, let's set this piece to the side. Look at this guy. This chest, I know his chest opens up. Like I said, I haven't read the instructions or anything like that. 
because I just wanted to show you guys up close. I don't even know how to pop his chest open. But uh, I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. This ain't no review or nothing like that, but I'm just, I'm just trying to show you guys what the deal is. This is the deal, hold up. Check this out. Ravage actually fits in his chest. Look at this. Look at Ravage. Fragrance.com is the one with over 9,500 fragrances for both men and women. No, no, no. Look at this. Oh my gosh. He lightweight transforms. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's like tucked into the, like the the fetal position or whatever like that. But look at this guy. That's cold. That's cold right there. Look at that right. Oh. This is a dope fig. I ordered this from Nate's Toys and Collectibles over, I think, two, two and a half years ago. Three years ago almost. And it's, uh, yeah, two, two years. I, I believe it was two years. I ordered this two years ago. And it's just now, it's just now getting to me because they just now basically released it. That's cold. That's super cold right there. That's it. That's it right there. That is it right there. I'm telling you right now. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Cut the check. I'm definitely going to uh, take my time and checking this beautiful figure out. Read up on the directions. Ravage can fit in his chest. You see how he was folded up. Hey, don't, don't fit. Now, I don't know if it's in stock anymore. That's the thing. But if you can pick this guy up, pick this guy up. I have the Optimus Prime of the 3A Prime. I think they named itself 3-0 too, matter of fact. I, I, for, I forgot, I think they switched to 3-0. Um, but if you wanna look, if you wanna do a Google search, search uh, D, DLX Soundwave and Ravage. Search that, you should see some links pop up for Google, uh, on your Google. Check out the price or whatever like that because Nate sold out. Nate, he ordered what every he ordered as much as people pre-ordered so if you pre-ordered with him two years ago you now have this now that's how serious this figure is two years ago i pre-ordered this i'm just saying i'm just getting it now because the company that makes them just released them so it's one of those things guys it's one of those things i'm sorry if you didn't pre-order them, because now you're going to pay a little bit of a heftier price. But is he worth it? That's your decision to decide. But to me, he is. He is. All right. It's been nice catching up with y'all. I hope y'all stuck around this time. I hope you enjoyed your drinks. I hope you enjoyed your snacks, because you definitely needed them for this one. But, uh, man. I'm not going to put everything out on the table and show you guys like I used to do. I'm just, I'm just tired, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm tired. I already got a mess to clean up as is. But, uh, hey, be patient with yourself. Be patient with your hunts. And if you're patient enough, even an egg can and will grow legs. It's your boy, Plastic Addict, and i see you next time. Whatever it is I'm doing, I'm quite sure it'll be a dope. It'll be a dope video and you guys will enjoy it. Hopefully it's a collection video. I don't know. I still ain't get around to it. I know. I still ain't get around to it. I, 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 I don't know. But, <laughs> but that's it. It's your people's champ. I'm out of here. Stay safe. Be blessed. And no stress. Classic Attic. Ow. Ta.